also known as George Clooney. George Clooney. That's right. <laughs> From MCCC. Always glad you're here, and today you're doing something very special. Yes, yes. Today we're going to do, for our first helping, is um, an oyster, Caribbean oyster martini. Okay. Uh, I'm so excited our, about the martini part. Uh, right. It's Oysters, not a drink, though. Yes, it's, it's unfortunately. A, there's, there's some alcohol involved. So. <laughs> let's well, show we, folks the oyster that you have. Yes, this is our oyster. It's it's um, a huge. Here, let's go right point. here. Straight ahead. Straight ahead. Yeah, it's a big. It's a big one. It's a big oyster. Yeah, Willow Point. Um, they're from the Pacific Coast. Um, they're meteor. You know you're eating an oyster when you have one of those. That's um, not one you can just slurp. You have to take a bite of that yeah, one. You have to take a bite of that one. It's big. Yes. Um, we have um, some flour. Uh, it's our standard breading procedure: flour, egg, uh, panko bread comes. Okay. Let's show the folks uh, the ingredients. Us. There you have. Can you run down Perfect. it for them? Yes. Um, like I said, the the breading ingredients for the oyster itself. Um, for the tropical fruit salsa that's going to go with this, um, we have mango, we have red pepper, green pepper, we have um, some Caribbean jerk seasoning that we're going to season the, the oysters with. Oh. We have some shallots, some coconut, and some spiced rum. <laughs> that's thank goodness for the spiced <laughs> rum. How long would you say it would take to fix all of this? Prepare. Um, the, the tropical fruit salsa you want to do at least a day ahead of time so all the flavors get together. Okay. So that's going to be the day before. So breading procedure, frying is very, very minimalistic. Would you say whenever you prepare kind of a sauce or a salsa, it's good to let it sit so the flavors really match? Absolutely, because it, it macerates. It, it, all the flavors get together and meld and, and it creates something great. Yeah. All right, I'll be honest with you. We talked about that. I'm not. <laughs> an oyster lover. I may be after this because John French has changed my mind on many things, but just in case, we have Captain Morgan with that's us. That's right. That's right. me close at hand. All right. Thanks so much. We'll uh, be prepping things when we come back the Absolutely. next time. Back to you, Joe. All right. Back in the kitchen you, with uh, down, Chef really John. Good, yeah. There you are. Here I am. And we are doing martini oysters today. Yes. Yes. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to start just doing the salsa because that's the one you want to do first. Um, it's It's got what we have here is mango, diced mango. We have uh, diced red pepper and diced green pepper just for color. Um, it's not lovely. Gonna, yeah, yeah, good, beautiful color. What we're going to add to that, we're going to add some shallots. Okay. Um, and, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you how to do a mango. A mango has a seed that runs all the way along. Um, very, most of this is seed. Um, but what I wanted to show you was, um, and, I, and kids love this, I'll, sh I'll show you. Um, you do like, a, my kids call it the... the, the uh, porcupine. Um, you slice it this way, make little cross hatches like this. And you're going right to the skin? No, not through the skin oh. because what you do is you fold Look it out like this. At that. And then you get to eat it just like this. So it's fun. That is a fun thing for kids yeah. to do. And yeah. we talked earlier in the Jungle Book movie film. Yes, yes. He just throws it up and then it comes, <laughs> it comes down, down and it's That's not awesome that part. easy. No, 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 no. And this is the pit and it runs on along the other side too. Um, so what I did was I diced this up. And like I said, it's fun for kids to do. Um, um, and, and then. How many I, should you use to make something like I, this? I use two. Two um, mangoes. Yeah, because like I said, it's a lot of pit. And um, it's tiny diced. Yes, peppers. because it's like a salsa. Okay. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to add some shallot into that. All of it? Yes, go ahead. Um, we have some shredded coconut. Okay. All of it? All of it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put two shots of spice rum. <laughs> or more. Shots? Your or shots more. or mine? Or more. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, behind my ears. Here. <laughs> and what we're going to do is we're just going to toss this together. Okay? Mm. And let this sit overnight. Um, you're going to want those flavors. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I brought a spoon if you'd like <gasps> I do it. Um, you would not... Would any of these fruits turn color? Like brownish? No, no, okay. because because what you what you have is mm. there's some acid in there from the, from the um, mango. All right, terrific. Okay, we're done with that. When yes. we come back, we're going to put the oysters together and make yes. our oyster martini. Absolutely. All right, and with that, we're also in our hot sauce. Coming up next, we're going to be talking about childhood... I guess drawings turned into tattoos by their own parents. That's when we come back. Well, no try, but I do have oysters with <laughs> yes, Chef John French yes. from NCCC. And right now we're going to go through the process. We made the beautiful salsa. Yes, yes, mango we did. Salsa. That's, that's the day ahead. Make that a day ahead it's, and, and refrigerate it. The flavors get together. Um, what we're going to do now is going to bread the oyster. And um, as you can see, the oyster is a monster. What, it, uh, huge. a third of the size of my hand? Yes. It's, it's a big oyster. Um, and what you do first is you keep one hand wet and one hand dry. Um, you use the dry ingredients with one hand. Otherwise, you're going to be breading your 
hand. Whole hand. Right. <laughs> exactly. So, I might prefer to eat my hand as opposed to the oyster today. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then you dip it in egg wash, egg ba egg mixture, um, just beaten eggs. Okay. And you use your wet hand for that. Okay. Um, and then after it's in that, drain that thoroughly, and then that goes in your panko bread crumbs. Panko bread crumbs. Right. And that gets all. Can you ever up. add too much? Bread crumb? Well, you don't want to add too much because otherwise it's just going to burn up in your pan. Um, so oh. what you're going to do is you're just going to dredge it off like that. And, and you have hot oil? Hot oil. And it'll fry up just like that. Okay? All right. And how long? Can you overcook an, an oyster? It's going to take about fry? four or five minutes. Okay? okay. Um, and what we'll do is um, we'll just put everything together. Okay. okay? So now, what we'll do is... in the meantime... Is, yeah, in the meantime, I have some already done. Keeping them warm. Okay, and they fry up really nice, golden brown. And when they come out of the oil is when you want to hit them with the seasoning because it adheres to the to, to the product. Okay. okay. Um, so what we'll do is we'll take our martini glass, which is why we call it a martini. Yes. Um, we'll fill it with some of our salsa. Okay. Yep. And then what we'll do is on top of, for on top of that we'll put one of our one of our oysters. Pick me a good one. I, I got you a good one. <laughs> <Make sure. laughs> and then we'll do a nice little lime garnish, and there you go. How fast and how beautiful that is. Isn't okay, fun? I bring my own utensils everywhere I go. I'm just going to do it family style. There you go. Mmm, actually, it's not that bad. Joe, come and try. All right. Mmm, Joe. Yeah. You can eat the other end. What do we have? I love oysters, so and, uh, well, good. And anything mm. breaded for that matter. So this is like we're friends. For me. Eat the other right. end. <laughs> you know what? I expected the oyster to oh. actually be kind of oh. chewyish. Try with that. Gotta have that. Oh, yeah, you got to take a spoonful of that. Um, yeah. So that I mean, that's that's nice. It's fun. Wow. It's festive. Summery. Too. Summery. Yeah. Exactly. Fresh flavors. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not at all fishy. No. No. When you bread it like that, like you said, I mean, when you slurp some the oysters, yeah. that's it's one gulp. This what? is you got to bite. And the panko, it's a lot lighter. Um, oh yeah. You, you can use regular breadcrumbs, I guess, but the right. panko. Right. I mean, it's got it that little... crunch. It's yeah. got that nice, nice bite to it. Yeah. All right. When we come back after we take a little siesta with the make it a real martini, right. we're going to do a second helping with the oysters. With the oysters, yeah, we're going to do a pull boy. A pool boy. That's yes, perfect. Right. Can you feed me the rest of this? Yeah. <laughs> I'll get the grapes, too. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right, from an oyster martini to an oyster pool boy. That's what happens when you drink too many that's martinis. Right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> what do you have here? What we have is we have um, our, our leftover oysters. We have a hoagie, run, a hoagie bun, excuse me. Too much um, rum. Yeah, it is. Um, we have uh, a blue cheese dressing that I made. Um, from scratch, and I put it up on the on the website. Um, we have shredded cabbage, so we're going to make is a coleslaw out of the blue cheese and uh, coleslaw. Okay. So just add some of that, and uh, what's in that is I have some mayonnaise, uh, some buttermilk, lemon juice, Worcestershire sauce, um, shallots, garlic, hot sauce, and some crumbled blue cheese. And it tastes delicious. I just it's good, isn't it? Before it is. Um, and what we're going to what, what I have also to put on top of the oysters is a. Um, is an Asian barbecue sauce. It has some hoisin, some ginger, um, some soy, um, some, and some sweet chili sauce. So okay. I combined that and I made that. Okay, so what we're going to do is, to assemble this, is we're going to take our oysters, and we're going to lay them on our bun. Okay? Mm -hmm. Two should be plenty. Um, we're going to top it. I'm sorry, we're going to do this first. We're going to do this. And I want to tell everybody, the last oyster that we tried, I took the last bite. You did. The one that Joe and you I. You did. Yeah, and I'm not an oyster eater. That was delicious. Well, good. I'm glad you liked it. See, I converted you once again. You again. did. And then you just top it with your slaw. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to cut it. Perfect. Um, as I'm trying this, tell folks about a summer cooking class yes, for your camp for yes. your kids. We're doing a summer cooking camp at NCCC. It's... Um, the 19th through the 21st, and um, we do kids healthy cooking. And it's, and it's funny because you had a, a segment about obesity and things like that. We get kids to try new things, and what, what, what we found is, I, I had a class before, and uh, the girl did not like to try granola, and we made homemade granola, and she didn't want it. She ended up eating two bowls. So if you get the kids cooking with you, I feel that, you know, they, they get involved and they want to try it. So it's, it's, it's good aspect, so I encourage, if you want to try it, come on out.
Come and try the sandwich, Joe. The <laughs> camp, once again, is what? where can they find more information? Um, I believe NCCC's website will have all that information. All right, okay. Chef John French, thank you so much for You're reintroducing welcome. me to the thing and Talk Captain Morgan. Thank you.